Welcome to The Naomi Show. Well, I'm here on Skype again with John Aiken, and today we are talking about flirting for guys. Now, John, this is really common that we hear about guys who don't know how to approach women and don't understand flirting and are scared to flirt and say, oh, I'm a terrible flirt and all of that kind of thing. We know also that flirtatious guys do often tend to get the girl, don't they? So first up, can you tell us what flirting is? Well, essentially flirting, Naomi, is when you're showing interest in someone, but doing it in a kind of a subtle way, not hitting them over the head with a sledgehammer like, you know, I like you, let's go to bed. <laughs> That's not really what flirting's all about. It's a much more subtle way of showing uh, a woman or a guy uh, that you're interested in them, but without actually laying all your cards out on the table. And it's more lighthearted and fun generally, isn't it? It's playful. Yeah, it, that's exactly right. It's playful. It, it shows off your sense of humour. There's a little bit of mental sparring going on. And if you can do that with a woman, uh, or, or if a woman can do that with a guy, then what you find is that you, you, know, you warm up to each other. It's a bit like a dance. And then uh, from one topic to the next, you will go, and then the chemistry will simply grow, and then the dates start to follow. So flirting is a key part of it. Because if you're not flirting then ultimately that person that you're standing in front of thinks you're not interested. Yes. So it's a key part of things. But it's a tough one. I can understand that guys find it a little daunting simply because you're saying, you know, you have to have a sense of humour and people, guys go, oh, I don't have a sense of humour. I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't know how to, you know, how to make her laugh. Are there yeah. any little tips that you can give guys to so that they can just sort of maybe broach this because obviously they, what they end up doing is they don't end up approaching girls and they end yeah. up missing out and that's really sad. It is sad or mm. they do go up but they try way too hard and it just turns you off completely. Yes. So I, I think, I mean, actually before I do that, Naomi, what are three things that you would say a guy could do flirtatiously that you Put would think... Put it on think, to me. Thank you, John. Well, no, because you're a woman and, and, you know, what is it that you like from a guy if they were going to flirt with you? Oh, goodness. Well, one, they'd have to smile at me. I mean, if they make me feel right. like I make them smile or looking at me makes them smile, and it sounds weird, but that obviously no. is really appealing that they smile at me. Um, obviously, a joke is good, being a little cheeky, um, without being rude, um, obviously, or being arrogant. Um, yep. And see, that's where that fine line comes cool. in. That's, cool. And I understand that that must be quite daunting. I find that daunting. Yep. So, um, and what about a guy coming up to you? Do you like that? Yeah, I think it's important. Um, in my case, I probably wouldn't go around approaching guys. I don't do that mainly because I'm probably too nervous. <laughs> um, but uh, let's not go there. Don't take me there, John. <laughs> that's great. There are three things there me. that I think are really important. That's the reason why I asked you, Naomi. First, smiling. It's great mm. because you know that if they're smiling and the eye contact as well is important, yes. not, you know, not looking around the room and looking at their texts or their phones or whatever. But, but giving you a smile, giving you eye contact is great. Um, also, approaching you is something that is is uh, is welcomed by uh, by you as well. Well, this is the uh, thing you can't, joke. you can't What's... flirt with someone unless you actually approach them. Well, I suppose you exactly. could exactly, could... exactly. And so these are these are basic tips here, Naomi, that you're giving, but they 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 ring true. And the other one you said was that you know. Uh, having a little joke, being a little cheeky, mm. uh, inspiring with them is quite nice. Now, when you're thinking about flirting, try and keep it as basic as possible and don't try and do things that you're not good at. So if you're not good at cracking jokes or, or, or being humorous, then you don't want to be trying to do that. But what you want to be doing is, is going up, being aware that smiling and eye contact is important and not stroking their hair or standing within an inch of them. No, you don't want to be doing that. Giving them a little not. space <laughs> is quite important as well uh, and respecting their personal space. Asking someone questions about themselves. How, how good is that? Yes. You know, because we, let's, let's face it, Naomi, we love talking about ourselves, don't we? Yep. We love going on. Yes, I work here and I do that. And you're going, oh, that's, that's fantastic. What made you get into that? Oh, well, I'm doing this. And all the time you're thinking, wow, he's really interested in me. Yes. And not only that, he lets me finish. 
he doesn't start coming in over the top of me and start talking about myself or himself. And he doesn't shut me down or disagree with me. This is great. So this sort of communication is very important when you're flirting. And of course, you don't want to bring up an ex when you're flirting because that's a disaster. No. no. Nor do you want to really bring up sex. Because if you meet a guy in Naomi in the first 10, 15 minutes, they're bringing up sex. What does that tell you? Oh, I'd be running for the hills. Exactly. So you're keeping the topic safe, enjoyable, uh, fun and and, and flirty. Uh, You're watching your, your personal space and you're making sure that you're giving them eye contact. And... Don't be afraid to use their name as well because sometimes, not, not too often, but mm. sometimes it's nice when someone says, you know, uh, John or Naomi, you, yep. you, you're getting a sense that they're connecting with you. And then, you know, uh, at all times be aware not to essentially uh, turn it onto yourself too much. Yes. Certainly if you get asked a question, disclose things, but don't come in and make it all about you. I think it's really. I think it's really important what you said just before that um, flirting can be actually being interested in the other person, and that's I think a key that perhaps some people may not actually realise that you can be flirting with someone by actually asking them, well, hey, so what do you do? And you must enjoy that, whatever it might be, but I think what a lot of guys think is I've got to come up with the sharp lines, I've got to come up with some witty repartee, whereas if they just showed interest, that that might actually just open the door. Yeah, that's I think exactly that's a really right. Good and, point. and as, and, and as, a, a, as a woman, and you've got girlfriends as well in the dating game, Naomi, you're much more turned on by a guy who's showing interest in you, who's being themselves, rather than someone who's trying to crack jokes, Yes. who says, oh, you know, wow, you know. Your legs are looking great in that skirt. <laughs> Hold on, this is way too cheesy. Or you know, it's it's too blunt. It is. You want subtlety and being appreciated, being listened to. Having a guy show interest in you is a, is a really nice way of flirting. Um, and you know what you'll find is that uh, you know with all of that package together, that the conversation will flow. Mm. And 10 minutes will turn into 30 minutes. And, and then, then you'll start to ask more questions and then away you'll go with other topics to talk about and suddenly you've just had an hour of talking with a really glamorous woman and you think you're fantastic. Exactly. And I'm flirting with them, but I'm not trying too hard. You've got to use your strengths. Some people are fantastic at you know, jokes and humour and being cheeky. Well, that's great. You'll use that. But if you're not showing interest, everybody can do that. Everyone can... Um, you know, give eye contact and smile and, and respect someone's personal space. And everyone can, uh, you know, uh, talk about themselves to some extent but not go overboard. These are classic, simple, flirtatious steps that you can use. Okay, that is fantastic advice, John. So, everyone, get out there and get flirting. Thanks, John. <laughs> See you next I like time. It. <laughs> Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.